Cardinals and Patriots for some Monday night football this week from State Farm Stadium alongside offensive lineman Calvin Beecham. I'm Danny Sarek and this is Sideline Exchange presented by Hyundai. Calvin, at 4 and 8, the Cardinals are not mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. However, the chances feel slim. Yep. How does that affect the mindset as this team regroups coming off the bye this week? You know, the thing is we have an opportunity to go 1 and 0 this week. So the focus is worried about this week and let everything else happen or happen as we get to it. But the focus is right now, we got a great opportunity in front of us, got an opportunity to go 1 and 0 this week and then let things, you know, kind of fall where they fall. Four of the five starting offensive linemen are on IR. They're the last man standing. Despite having eight different starting offensive line combinations, quarterback Kyler Murray has only been pressured on dropbacks the fourth fewest time in the league. What's been the biggest hurdle to overcome to have that consistent cohesion with all offensive linemen? You know, I think the thing is we have a great room. Uh, we have a great room of guys, the guys that know how to play the game, have played the game before. Um, guys that care about one another, even though it's, it's a, a mixed match of people that are coming in and out of the lineup. But you got guys that are willing to play for each other. And at the end of the day, it's a prideful group that just wants to find a way to get it done. There's been some change in the run game. Former Titans coach Steve Hyden is now the offensive line coach as well as the run game coordinator. In his first game at helm against the Chargers, 181 rushing yards and a touchdown. What does that type of performance say about the mental strength about your room? You know, guys just want to play the game at the end of the day. You know, uh, when you have the opportunity to go out there and battle against adversity, understanding the challenges, you're back against the wall, you got to find a way to get it done. You know, we didn't get the win um, that we needed, uh, but the positive that came out of that was the ability to run the ball. Now, the thing is, is can you stack it? Uh, and in the National Football League, is can you be able to carry that over from week to week? And hopefully we can carry some of the successes that we had in the last game and be able to have that on the field, um, you know, on Monday night. The Patriots have the third most sacks in the league, led by linebacker Matthew Judon, who's got 13. How do you counter their attack to keep your quarterback safe and run the ball? You know, the thing is they present a number of challenges, putting different people in different spots on the field, you know, running a lot of dime, a lot of nickel, where they have a number of DBs on the field. Um, it just presents some challenges. But at the end of the day, we got to find a way to, one, run the ball, two, protect the quarterback. When we have an opportunity to win a situation, the ball, we have to be able to capitalize on that. New England's head coach, Bill Belichick, third most winning coach of all time. Personally, what challenges does he present in the way that he coaches his team throughout an entire game? You know, the thing is they present, and he presents a lot of challenges because the team is so well coached. They're well disciplined. Um, the team is always in position. I've played New England a number of times. I played them, you know, when I was in New York, I played them when I was in Pittsburgh. Um, he just always has a team in the right position to be successful. And at the end of the day, you have to let players play, but he does a phenomenal job of making sure this team is always in the right position to be successful. So we understand that, you know, we got to put ourselves in the right position. They got to put themselves in the right position and then let football players, you know, make plays and hopefully we can make more plays than they do at the end of the game. How'd you spend your extra time during the bye week? Um, you know, did quite a bit of community work. Uh, so, you know, was able to present a check to, um, to a friend of mine over United Food Bank, you know, had an opportunity to, to, to go and surprise her. Um, went down to Mexico for a little bit and, and got away for a little bit. Um, had the opportunity to uh, give away a couple backpacks um, earlier this week and then yesterday. Uh, took some young people to United Aviate Academy. Um, and actually got to fly and do my first discovery flight. So it was, it was pretty cool. How was that? It was great. The plane was just a little tiny. <laughs> a little too, not, not built for an offensive not, lineman. Not built for offensive lineman. Always giving back to the community, Calvin. Pretty no awesome Cardinals fans. You can give back to the community as well by participating in the toy drive. Just bring an unwrapped gift to State Farm Stadium before the game. Monday kickoff is set for 615, and that toy could really make a difference in someone's life. Make sure you're also voting for the Pro Bowl games. Calvin Beecham and some of his teammates are eligible to go to Vegas in February. You can vote on NFL.com or go to Twitter, tag the player, or just type their name with the hashtag Pro Bowl vote. Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. For Calvin Beecham, I'm Danny Sarek. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sideline Exchange.